because. So over the next couple months, I'm going to be doing some videos. First one's going to be restoring a 1981 Chevy K5 Blazer. It's got a lot of rust. It's ugly. Needs a lot of work. <laughs> She's got six inches of lift. Right now, a brand new set of 33s on it. I have a set of 37s in the back that were on it. One of them's bad. But she needs a lot of help. So, we're going to sit here, take some time, do a bunch of videos on it, and get some body work done. And hopefully when it's done, she'll actually be worth some money. I got screwed when I bought it. Traded a built Trans Am for it with a 383 stroke or with 400 Probably around 450 horse. Monster shift transmission. Put a lot of work in that car. It's the first automatic I ever had with smoke the tires in all four gears. But kit swore up and down when I got this. The past inspection, it didn't look bad. Your normal rust spots like your rear shelf, stuff like that. Still good. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Looks a little worse after winter. But I know we got to do. Oh, it's not that one. Rear shackle on one side. The floors are just decked. The doors are decked. I got to put a new mirror on it, which I have. And I don't mind the interior or lack thereof. No carpet. It was automatic. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there you go. Now it's a three speed with a grainy gear. Fucking truck is retarded. It's a three built Chevy 355. The thing is so low geared. I mean, she's a monster, don't get me wrong. Just had to put new tie rods in it. The shack on the front's not bad, the other side's bad. Um, yeah, this thing, once you hit third gear, you don't downshift unless you're stomping. And you're in third by the, probably about the time you're doing 30. But, yeah, if you look, she's kind of shoot up down there. But, it's one bad shackle right there. I don't know if you can see the light through it. If you look, me and my buddy just realized uh, the leaf springs aren't sitting straight. See, they're kind of off at an angle. Like if you go over to this one, she's nice and straight. So I'm not sure if the axle's twisted or what. Inner fenders are dicked. Need to replace them. Underneath the hood's kind of rough too. But if you look, see the light through that rear shackle. I got to replace that one. Put an exhaust on it. New suspension. She got a lot of work into her, but it's pretty beat. So keep tuned. I'll show you what it comes out to be when I'm done. Yes, there is going to be some bondo, don't get me wrong. But it is what it is. This is going to be project number two. It's a 1992 BMW 325i AC Snitzer clone. I'm going to put some marker lights on it. I'm actually going to put HIDs with one piece headlights. But 
PC snacks for clone. Don't know if you guys can move. Sorry. She's fast. Dropped about two inches. Upgraded to 16s. Tires on it now are a little big, but they don't rub too bad. Can't really see it, but that rocker panel's decked. Fucking AAA put a jack through it. Sunroof don't work. Gotta fix that. Some little stuff on the body. Just put new clear tail lights with LEDs in it. I hope you guys are gonna be able to see them. It's got an HP exhaust on it. Cap back for now. Wings junk. It's held up with a rock. I'll put a window on it. Five speed. This is a shifter. Shifter. Pedals. Interior's not too bad. I got the other door panel. I've got to put that in. Got to put new window clips in it. Headliner's all fucked up. But, all in all, she's not too bad. Got to put some new mirrors on it. And a new windshield. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it, but... There's a crack there. Right... You can see the BB hole. So, I just got this car at the beginning of winter. I actually traded my snowmobile for it. I've been driving it now for about three weeks straight. Awesome on gas. Awesome. It's got the 2.5. I mean, the motor's gone up, kind of. It's been bored out. Um. It's got an aftermarket cam in it, cannon filter. Uh, the body of the car's got almost 300,000 on it, which is really surprising. Motor has, I'd probably say about 130. Uh, transmission, which is out of an M3, has right around 60 has a newer rear end in it, but it was out of a junkyard, so God knows what it is. But yeah, that's what she is, so over the next couple months, I'm going to be customizing it. I'm assuming the blazer is going to be going black and green, like lime green. And the Beamer, the wife likes red, so I guess I'm just keeping it red, but I'm going to put some... Either black tribal down the sides of it or some racing stripes, I don't know yet. Something. It's gotta be different. Well, keep tuned. I'll put up new videos every time I do something. Alright. Y'all have a good day.